I'm gonna stand right here because I love this light. Um, this is the second video of this day. Um, this video is gonna be about relationships. The next video after this one, but I'm gonna record that today, is gonna be about sexuality going with religion and about how my sexuality does not determine my religion because I am an open again female and I love God. I love God. So, and I, I don't like when people try to, you know, be little with that. Um, but yeah, relationships. Numero uno. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Show love. Do it for British. Always love y'all. And I do show love back to my followers, supporters when I do see them. Um, okay, so... 2016 dating generation. Um, going on based on how this is going so far, we will not, it will not be good come 2020, 2030, 2040 because for one, we have people out here conceiving, having babies. Like we have, we have babies having babies. Like if I ever do have a kid, which I doubt, who is my child going to play with? My child is going to play with your grandchildren. My child is going to be playing with you because your kids will be in high school. My kids are being born. And, um, it's crazy because I'm not a holy child. I'm not. I'm whole. I love God, but I'm not the perfect child. I'm not. Um, but the my thing is, it's it's people. It's like you you're giving stuff up without relation. It's like situationships, and I did. There's a lot of situationships in this generation because this generation they believe in. Oh, one was one mistake. I'm gone. Bye. Peace. And I'm like. Like, how do you think our grandparents been married for so long? Do you think our grandparents, oh, my, the husband did this one time and she gone? No. No. Like, I guarantee you, um, your grandparents done went through some things. Like, this generation, when things get hard, they want to run away. When things get hard, they don't want to fix it. They want to put it under the rug, not knowing that putting it under the rug is what's making it worse, making everything worse. It's making, um, causing more problems because when you run away from your problems, you, um, cause more problems while you're running and then later on down the line in life, you're going to have to deal with those problems plus the problems you run away from. So why not just, um, deal with them as they come on? Like this generation, it disgusts me because I feel like I, like, I want to find love, but a part of me feel like I would never find love because the way the generation mindset is set up, everyone feel like they're getting played, and and that's what making people play people because oh they feel like oh she gonna hurt me, he gonna hurt me, so I'm gonna hurt her before he hurt me, or I'm gonna keep this person on the side so I won't get hurt. How do you expect someone to be loyal to you? You expect to be loyal to them. How do you expect somebody to be all about you? You can be all about them. Like, I just don't get it. Like, y'all want, want this, but y'all not willing really to work for it. I'm not, like, and I don't believe in giving up things easily. Like, I don't believe in that. But um, I feel like if you do not, people will respect you more. And if you give it up easily, and if you if you don't want to give it up easily, if you know what, I'm, what I mean by it, if you, want, if you don't want to give it up easily and someone pressure you, to doing it with them, they don't really like you. They don't really love you. They not they not really trying to mess with you. They just want what you have and going to the next. And like I learned as a person, every like you can't I learned that God put people in life people in people life for certain reasons. He like he puts you in your life. He like for instance you this is Billy and Bob. But well, Billy and Brenda. God put Brenda in Billy's life to teach Billy some things and help him grow as a man. That's what, that's what us women are for. Even though I, I can't really, well, I can speak on it because I don't date me. I don't date boys, I don't date men. But you know what I'm getting at. Regardless, even in the same sex relationship, he put one in a relationship to help build the other up. Help, and then the other one could teach the other one things as well. Like, people... Don't look at it. In this generation, they want to be just being relationships for Instagram and Twitter for pictures and be goals. Your only goal should be building each other, building with each other. Your only goal should be helping each other become a better person because that's what, at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. I may not be straight, but even though that God took the real of a man to make a woman and he made the woman to help the man, I mean, I, me personally, I feel like it's what anybody dealing with. If you're a girl dealing with a girl, you as a girl still supposed to help build that girl up. You as a boy still supposed to help build that boy up. Like it don't just go for regular 
you know, heterosexual relationship. I know they go to not approve of same sex, but when there is one and they both in the Bible and they believe in God and they both go to church and they both praise the Lord and Lord is their savior, I feel like he's still going to have he's not gonna abandon he's not gonna abandon gays because they're gay. He's not he's not gonna judge them badly because no sin is better than the other. Like and I hate people I know this is kinda of off subject, but I hate people trying to make being gay is a, such a bad sin. Like, it's no sin greater than others. It's not one of the seven deadly sins. But, like, that's what this generation to realize, like, relationships is just not for show. Relationships is about building, helping, trust, honesty. Like, you, you're not supposed to be in a relationship to, to bring somebody down. And a relationship is supposed to bring them up, uplift them, help them, better them, be grind together. Like, you can't do a relationship with one doing something and one not. Oh, one working, one praying, one going to the radio, the other one, and the other one just sitting down, and you just they just giving you sex, sex, and you giving them love, and they just giving you sex. No, it wasn't equal. And I don't, I don't really know when you know you found your soulmate because some people always say that by your high school you don't already met your soulmate, but you never know or something like that. But I feel like. Um, you know when you like you you just you will know when you met your somebody. I feel like when you meant to be with somebody, you just deal with they stuff. Like you deal with them and you help them and you work with them. I'm not saying, oh, he cheated ten times, so stay. No, I say people make mistakes. People, some people don't cheat intentionally. Now, some people cheat intentionally because they're in a childish ways, but they always say no man is perfect, no man is perfect. So you have to um, help them and train them into the way they shall go. Like when it comes with a child, you help them. You help them realize that what they did is not right, and you help them better themselves because at the end of the day, we're still young, so we're still growing and prospering. So. If they make that one mistake, oh baby, you know what? I, I like it hurt, but I'm gonna forgive. We gonna, I'm gonna help you get it together. But if you continue to do it, then that's when you leave because they know they don't want to help themselves. You can't help somebody who don't want to get help. So you have to like, like if they're willing to help, if they're willing to become a better person, then that's when you stay. But if they being not slung by it, not not caring, not even trying to make the progress of to being helped, like to. Getting help, like you know, stop cheating and become a better person. Then you leave. That's when you leave. I'm not saying get played over and over and over again. Then you just stay and get ran over. No, but you don't leave on the first mistake. You don't leave an imperfect man. You don't leave an imperfect woman because you're the today you're not going to find a perfect woman or a man because you are not perfect at all. Because there's no, there's no one perfect. Nobody. We're all children of God, learning way through life. We learn new things every day. I don't believe that you're done learning. Like you, everyone, you learn something new. Literally every day you gain every day you meet people who teach you stuff every day And I always say just because you've been hurt don't mean you should go hurt somebody I understand like I don't believe in that saying hurt people hurt people hurt people are supposed to To like, get it together hurt people are supposed to help hurt people hurt people are not supposed to be hurt Like I've been hurt multiple times multiple times multiple times and with my hurt I try to help others to prevent them from getting hurt or those who've been hurt to help them. I don't go hurt someone because my heart is too good for that. I don't believe that you just because somebody hurts you, you should hurt them. And I don't believe that you should look at everybody the same. Like, just because this person hurts you, the next person not, not gonna hurt you. Like, I used to have a bad habit of thinking that. Like, I used to keep my guard, like, my guard is up now, but I used to keep it up to where I didn't believe nobody was, was trying to help me. I feel like everybody was out to get me. I feel like everybody was trying to use me. All that. No, like, you can't think like that. If you think like that, you're not going to be happy. You're going to be sad all the time. You're going to be lonely. And being lonely is not good. Like, so, if you hurt, don't hurt. Help. Like, grow from it, learn from it. You learn from everything that you go through in life, the good and the bad. Stop thinking the bad, looking at the bad as negative. Always look at the bright side of the bad. I had to learn that. Like, I learned that as I got older. So I used to always look at, dang, this happened to me. Like, forget them. Maybe this to me. I'm so sad, so hurt, so crying. Like, I'm this, I'm that. I'm not good enough. I would never be. No. You learn. You grow and learn. Things happen in your life for a reason. It happens for a reason. God is not allowing this stuff to happen to hurt you. He's trying to help you grow because you mature by going through stuff. And 
you mature by being exposed to stuff, but you can't learn if you don't want to learn. You have to be open minded to want to learn and change and be a better person. So that's why I will always say in relationships, you're supposed to help each other, teach each other what you know, build each other up. Don't just try to take pictures and just have sex all day long. No, that's not that's not what a relationship is about. That's not what love is. And if someone is hurting you, that is not love as either. That is not love at all. So at the end of the day, we all, but now we're not perfect. Remember that. Like, don't search for the perfect person. Nobody is perfect. But don't, don't, if you lay down with dogs, you're going to get fleas. In other words, if you have sex a lot, unprotected, or just have, like, you know, you don't know what they, they state is, you will catch a disease. And that is not to play about. But I love y'all. Just remember what I said. Like, build. Build, rebuild, grow, grow with each other. Don't bring each other down. Like, that's what relationships are for. And I want to go more in depth with this video later on down the line. But I feel like my video will be too long. And, like, if y'all want me to go more in depth about this topic, then you can comment and tell me to. Because I have I have way more comments about this topic than I talk about. I tried to talk about it on Snapchat yesterday, but I couldn't because Snapchat is 10 seconds. And I can't just do, I just can't do that 10 seconds stuff. Like, it was hard. So yeah, love y'all team Brutus. Follow me on Instagram, do it for Brutus. Follow me on Snapchat, H-A-I-Z-I-A-H. Follow me on Twitter, do it like Brutus. And y'all about to see me coming to a state, city near you. So love you guys. Remember, I'm too famous for this. Shh.